Hi everyone, I'm Thomas from the Babylon.js team. Today we're doing part three of our video series that takes us into the creation of an augmented reality portal. And we're gonna do some cool visual effects today. Look at the portal, look at this you know, um, energy, right? That looks like uh, it's coming out of it, this, this smoke, this glowing effect. Um, let's understand how to do this uh, in code today. Um, so everything is going to be on the desktop, so it's pretty easy to follow. And our uh, first thing to notice is my scene is very dark. I don't have any light. That's because I'm going to use emissive um, self-lit uh, meshes, but that's um, not right now. Uh, I'm starting just creating the, the portal itself, which is made of three different pillars of different size. Uh, and once they are created, then I um, you know, move them around, rotate, um, translate them to do something that looks like uh, you know, the shape of a portal. Here we go. Now we have to add this um, self-lit uh, part. So I can use emissive um, meshes in uh, with standard material or um, also the PBR material, but uh, in our case, standard material um, is enough. And I'm doing this through um, the property of a material, uh, emissive color or uh, also emissive textures. In our case, it is this blue um, turquoise color. And uh, you know, once I'm done, I created my material. I'm um, you know applying it to my different meshes, and I get something that looks like this, right? My uh, self-lit portal. Great, that's good, but that's definitely not enough. So let's keep adding more effect, and let's do um, a glow layer, right? This glowing effect that is done using the glow layer that is at the scene level. Uh, I'm saying this because. Um, you have to specify it's good, it's not obligation, but by default, every mesh that is emissive is going to be glowing if you add those, um, those lines of code. So it's good to say which mesh are, um, are going to be um, um, glowing, or you can also do the opposite, everything but not a list of mesh are glowing. And this is important because in my case, I didn't do this at the beginning when I added this to, this, to, um, to my main scene, then everything was glowing because some mesh were, were emissive already. So I specify which one. Some of the stuff you can uh, do in terms of parameter is the size of the kernel. Um, so see, so you can you can play with this also um, to um, to see the to see the result. All right, so we get um, uh, our glowing portal. Let's keep adding more um, more effects, and let's do um, something that is very common in visual effects is uh, particle systems because we can do um, we can do a lot. Look at this beautiful demo that um, that Patrick did uh, some time ago using um, just three particle systems, right? This beautiful sun. Um, so particle systems, if you don't know what it is, um, it is uh, basically a bunch of 2D sprites that are always facing the screen, um, the camera. So it gives this impression of uh, volume and they're emitted, right? They can be uh, animated and they're emitted from somewhere uh, in your scene. And you can have several uh, particle systems. Uh, you, you can have, you have different type of particle system, but let's go back to our code. We can understand and talk about this. So right now, uh, let's see the final result. Once I'm gonna add my particle systems, um, it's gonna look like this. Right, that's what we're going to uh, what, what we're going to do. So let's comment this. I don't have any um, particles around it, uh, and I'm going to add here a new CPU. So there are two type of particle systems: CPU, where animations are managed with the CPU, and um, the rendering of the particle is done with the GPU. The GPU particle system that came later with WebGL two. Uh, everything is managed by the um, GPU, so you can have much more particles. You can have like a million particles if you want. In our case, it's just a few hundred, so CPU uh, is enough. And then as you, um, when you want to do your effects, uh, you play with, uh, firstly, the texture. Uh, so we're going to customize the 2D sprite with um, something that looks like a smoke. Uh, and then, uh, and then we're going to play with a lot of different parameters. Um, so let's uh, change the blend mode to add. Let's make the particle, I think, go much slower. Um, let's change the emission, right? The emitter, instead of having, um, you know, particles coming from this point, right? To, from the origin in this case, 
uh, we're going to have to um, have them emitted from the pillar. So if I change here, you know, if I do this one or, you know, different type of pillar, it's, it's changing like pillar two, pillar one, etc. So let's stay on pillar one. Uh, and I want this as a cylinder around it, uh, like a small cylinder. So 0 0.2 of radius and the height uh, is two. Uh, you can see here. So I put two for the cylinder. I want to have more particles like 400, for instance, that's the rate. That's what you can see here. How many particles are displayed on the screen? So as the things kick in, uh, you know, it goes up until about 400. Um, and then I'm going to change the emit power. Emit power is kind of like the energy they have when they're emitted, so how far they'll go. Uh, and I don't want them to go far. Uh, so just putting zero here. I want to make them uh, bigger. Um, so in a size of one, I can actually do, you know, a little bit of uh, variety. Uh, in your case, it doesn't matter much. Uh, lifetime is how long they stay before they disappear. And I want them to stay much less time. So maybe uh, 0, 0.7 and 0, 0.1 here. And then I'm going to add some color gradients uh, here. So like a, this dark blue here and then the turquoise here and then a little bit of the opposite. All right, so that's starting to look um, pretty close to um, the final, um, the final results. I can even add some um, rotation here, a little bit of rotation. Uh, so let's do like one and three. All right, so I feel like more a living thing here in my portal. All right, so could tweak a little bit more, but you got the idea. We get pretty close here. Now, the next step is to save, right, this um, configuration. So I could do this. You have two options to save um, in a file, um, so in a JSON file, and you can load the file. Or you can also save to the snippet server, which is what we're doing in our case. So I'm getting the snippet ID here. It's already in my clipboard. And uh, I'm going to uh, uncomment my code here and putting my three particle system. So it's, it's the same one that I'm using everywhere. And there is one for each, uh, each mesh here. And here we go. We have our portal. Uh, effects. So I was curious to see as I did it how it would look like in uh, in uh, the real world, right? Because of the light, uh, but he, he rendered pretty well. Uh, different than this, but the effect was pretty cool because there's much more light. You 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 know it looks much smaller and much closer from the portal, but with a lot of energy. So it came out pretty cool. Um, that's it for today. Thanks uh, for you know listening through it. I hope you learn uh, some stuff. Uh, get, get excited by. Uh, by doing some um, visual effects with a particle system and glowing effect. Next video, we'll uh, go into something completely different. Uh, we'll go into occlusion, how to hide some part of the scene when you're in 3D or in the, um, in the real world uh, to give this impression of portal. That will the, that'll be the topic for next lesson. So see you next, uh, next video, and I hope you had fun. You can have all the links in the description as usual. Bye-bye, all.